1 Chronicles chapter 25 David, together with the commanders of the army, set apart some of the sons of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduthun for the ministry of prophesying, accompanied by harps, lyres, and cymbals. Here is the list of the men who performed this service. From the sons of Asaph, Zakur, Joseph, Nethaniah, and Azarelah. The sons of Asaph were under the supervision of Asaph, who prophesied under the king's supervision. As for Jeduthun and from his sons, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshiah, Shimei, Hashabiah, and Mattitiah, six in all, under the supervision of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied using the harp in thanking and praising the Lord. As for Heman, from his sons, Bukiah, Mataniah, Aziel, Shubael, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gidaltai, and Romantai Eza, Josh Pekesha, Malothai, Hota, and Mahazioth. All these were sons of Heman, the king's seer. They were given to him through the promises of God to exalt him. God gave Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these men were under the supervision of their father for the music of the temple of the Lord, with cymbals, lyres, and harps for the ministry of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the supervision of the king. Along with their relatives, all of them trained and skilled in music for the Lord, they numbered 288. Young and old alike, teacher as well as student, cast lots for their duties. The first lot, which was for Asaph, fell to Joseph, his sons and relatives, twelve. The second to Gedaliah, him and his relatives and sons, twelve. The third to Zakur, his sons and relatives, twelve. The fourth to Israel, his sons and relatives, twelve. The fifth to Nethaniah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The sixth to Bukiah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The seventh to Jezarela, his sons and relatives, twelve. The eighth to Jeshiah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The ninth to Mataniah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The tenth to Shimei, his sons and relatives, twelve. The eleventh to Azarel, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twelfth to Hashabiah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The thirteenth to Shubael, his sons and relatives, twelve. The fourteenth to Mattatiah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, his sons and relatives, twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, his sons and relatives, twelve. The seventeenth to Joshkabesha, his sons and relatives, twelve. The eighteenth to Hanani, his sons and relatives, twelve. The nineteenth to Malothai, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twentieth to Eliatha, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twenty-first to Hota, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twenty-second to Gidaltai, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twenty-third to Mahazioth, his sons and relatives, twelve. The twenty-fourth to Ramamtai Eza, his sons and relatives, twelve. 1 Chronicles chapter 26 The Divisions of the Gatekeepers From the Korahites, Meshelamiah, son of Kore, one of the sons of Asaph. Meshelamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediael the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, and Elihohenai the seventh. Obededom also had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sekar the fourth, Nathanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Peulatai the eighth. For God had blessed Obededom. Obededom's son, Shemaiah, also had sons, who were leaders in their father's family, because they were very capable men. The sons of Shemaiah, Othnai, Raphael, Obed, Elzebad, 
His relatives Elihu and Semachiah were also able men. All these were descendants of Obed-Edom. They and their sons and their relatives were capable men, with the strength to do the work. Descendants of Obed-Edom, sixty-two in all. Meshilamiah had sons and relatives who were able men, eighteen in all. Hosa the Merarite had sons. Shimrai the first, although he was not the firstborn, his father had appointed him first. Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, and Zechariah the fourth. The sons and relatives of Hosa were thirteen in all. These divisions of the gatekeepers through their leaders had duties for ministering in the temple of the Lord, just as their relatives had. Lots were cast for each gate according to their families, young and old alike. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelemiah. The lots were cast for his son Zechariah, a wise counsellor, and the lot for the north gate fell to him. The lot for the south gate fell to Obed-Edom, and the lot for the storehouse fell to his sons. The lots for the west gate and the Shalaketh gate on the upper road fell to Shupim and Hosa. Guard was alongside guard. There were six Levites, a day on the east, four a day on the north, four a day on the south, and two at a time at the storehouse. As for the court to the west, there were four at the road and two at the court itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers, who were descendants of Korah and Merari. Their fellow Levites were in charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries for the dedicated things. The descendants of Laden, who were Gershonites through Laden, and who were heads of families belonging to Laden the Gershonite, were Jehaeli. The sons of Jehaeli, Zetham and his brother Joel. They were in charge of the treasuries of the temple of the Lord. From the Amramites, the Isarites, the Hebronites, and the Azielites. Shubael, a descendant of Gershom, son of Moses, was the official in charge of the treasuries. His relatives, through Eliezer, Rehabiah, his son, Jeshiah, his son, Joram, his son, Zikri, his son, and Shalomith, his son. Shalomith and his relatives were in charge of all the treasuries for the things dedicated by King David, by the heads of families who were the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and by the other army commanders. Some of the plunder taken in battle, they dedicated for the repair of the temple of the Lord. And everything dedicated by Samuel the seer, and by Saul son of Kish, Abner son of Ner, and Joab son of Zeruiah, and all the other dedicated things, were in the care of Shalomith and his relatives. From the Israelites, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned duties away from the temple, as officials and judges over Israel. From the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his relatives, 1,700 able men, were responsible in Israel west of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the king's service. As for the Hebronites, Jeriah was their chief according to the genealogical records of their families. In the fortieth year of David's reign, a search was made in the records, and capable men among the Hebronites were found at Jazer in Gilead. Jeriah had 2,700 relatives, who were able men and heads of families, and King David put them in charge of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. 1 Chronicles chapter 27 This is the list of the Israelites, heads of families, commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and their officers who served the king in all that concerned the army divisions that were on duty month by month throughout the year. Each division consisted of 24,000 men. In charge of the first division for the first month was Jashobian, son of Zabdiel. There were 24,000 men in his division. He was a descendant of Pires and chief of all the army officers for the first month. In charge of the division for the second month was Dodai the Ahohite. Mikloth was the leader of his division. There were 24,000 men in his division. The third army commander for the third month was Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was chief, and there were 24,000 men in his division. 
This was the Benaiah, who was a mighty warrior among the thirty, and was over the thirty. His son, Amizabad, was in charge of his division. The fourth, for the fourth month, was Azahel, the brother of Joab. His son, Zebediah, was his successor. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The fifth, for the fifth month, was the commander, Shamhuth, the Israelite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The sixth, for the sixth month, was Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The seventh, for the seventh month, was Hiles, the Pelonite, an Ephraimite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The eighth, for the eighth month, was Sibekai, the Hushathite, a Zerahite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The ninth for the ninth month was Abiza, the Anathathite, a Benjaminite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The tenth for the tenth month was Maharai, the Natophathite, a Zerahite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The eleventh for the eleventh month was Benaiah, the Perathonite, an Ephraimite. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The twelfth for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Natophathite, from the family of Othniel. There were twenty-four thousand men in his division. The leaders of the tribes of Israel. Over the Reubenites, Eliezer, son of Zikri. Over the Simeonites, Shephatiah, son of Maacah. Over Levi, Hashabiah, son of Kemuel. Over Aaron, Zadok. Over Judah, Elihu, a brother of David. Over Issachar, Omri, son of Michael. Over Zebulun, Ishmael, son of Obadiah. Over Naphtali, Jeremoth, son of Azriel. Over the Ephraimites, Hoshea, son of Azaziah. Over half the tribe of Manasseh, Joel, son of Padiah. Over the half tribe of Manasseh and Gilead, Ido, son of Zechariah. Over Benjamin, Jehaziel, son of Abna. Over Dan, Azarel, son of Jeroham. These were the leaders of the tribes of Israel. David did not take the number of the men twenty years old or less, because the Lord had promised to make Israel as numerous as the stars in the sky. Joab, son of Zeruiah, began to count the men but did not finish. God's wrath came on Israel on account of this numbering, and the number was not entered in the book of the annals of King David. As Maveth, son of Adiel, was in charge of the royal storehouses, Jonathan, son of Uzziah, was in charge of the storehouses in the outlying districts, in the towns, the villages, and the watchtowers. Ezrai, son of Kelob, was in charge of the workers who farmed the land. Shimei, the Ramathite, was in charge of the vineyards. Zabdai, the Shifmite, was in charge of the produce of the vineyards for the wine vats. Baal Hanan, the Gedirite, was in charge of the olive and sycamore fig trees in the western foothills. Joash was in charge of the supplies of olive oil. Shitrei, the Sharonite, was in charge of the herds grazing in Sharon. Shaphat, son of Adlai, was in charge of the herds in the valleys. Obil, the Ishmaelite, was in charge of the camels. Jediah, the Moronathite, was in charge of the donkeys. Jazes, the Hagrite, was in charge of the flocks. All these were the officials in charge of King David's property. Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counsellor, a man of insight and a scribe. Jehiel, son of Hagmoni, took care of the king's sons. Ahitophel was the king's counsellor. Hushai, the archite, was the king's confidant. Ahitophel was succeeded by Jehoiada, son of Benaiah, and by Abiathar. Joab was the commander of the royal army. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God, as in fact you are living. Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, 
that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God, and that in this matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister. The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins as we told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being, but God, the very God who gives you his Holy Spirit. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do so more and more, and to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders, and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words.